Opinions. Today's topic is euthanasia, the mercy killing of a terminally ill loved one, or whether it be pulling the plug on the life support system or shooting a gun. Today we have two W.E. Du Bois scholars, scholars, and this is Jason Gray, and this is Eve Marcian. Hello. And um, do you have any opinions, young man? Well, I'm for mercy killings, and I think it's right because if somebody really wants to die, then they ought to have the right to just let themselves go and die. And you, Eve, I totally disagree with that. Um, if one person doesn't have the right to take another person's life, even if they're suffering or whatever, whatever you want to say, that's that's totally that's insane. Because if that's the case, then everybody will be dying, and there will be nobody left. Um, your rebuttal. Well, I wouldn't say that everyone would be dying because, like, like um, not everyone is hooked up to a life support system just waiting to die, like quadriplegics and bone marrow cancer, all of them waiting, just knowing that they won't be able to come back to normal, should have the right to just lay back, have their life support system shut off. That's, that's good. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I cut you off. Um, does the studio audience have any? Yes. And your name is? I'm from the Hemlock Society, and we're an organization that preaches dignity with death. And we help people who are terminally ill to die by giving them medication. It's very painless and painful. We help them to die in their own homes, with their family, with dignity, because we believe in quality of life and not quantity of life. That's very good. Um, any more people? Can I comment on that? Oh, yes, you may. Um, see, I totally disagree with you, because it's people like you that mess America up. That's very good, and that's been very touching today. And God, I'm tired. This is so much work. It's just too much. What do you think we can do about it? <laughs> We've got to pass the test, or else we won't graduate. And I've just got to graduate. I've got an idea. What? What is it? Tell me. I have some cookies. What kind of cookies? You know what I'm talking about. What are you talking about? Cookies, as in crack. Crack? Where did you get that stuff from? A friend at school. From school? If that person was your friend, they would have never given it to you. It's my life. I could do whatever I want with it. Doing what? Getting killed? It's my problem. Well, I'm not just going to stand by and let you throw your life away. Well, it's my life. I could do whatever I want with it. I know it's your life, but I've seen many, many lives shattered because of drugs. Well, no, no. Just forget I even brought up the subject. I'm not through talking to you. Yes, you are. Look, I can't help it. I'm tired. I can't do this anymore. This is too much work. I need something to take care of me. And you're going to use crack to get, get rid of that? Of course. I mean, what else can I do? Work harder. It's not going gonna, it's not gonna to help. It's not going to help. I need something. Look, I'm going home. I'm not through with you. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Look, I can't take this anymore. Believe me, you'll never see the end of this. Yes, you will. Wanna... This is the end. I mean, I can't take this anymore. 
How could you do this to yourself? I thought I knew everything about I'm you. Leaving. I guess I was wrong. and a bucket. Two cars? You want to eat cars? We don't have cars. Go to the Dodge. I think we should order something a little else. Something else, a little more simple for him to understand. Oh. Two glasses of water and a cup of coffee, please. Two cups of coffee and a glass of water, no problem. No. Two glasses of water and a cup of coffee. Oh, two glasses of water and a cup of coffee. I can handle that. I hope so. Here you go. Two cups of toffee and a glass of uh, water. What? Where'd you get toffee from, man? You still oh, have the wrong order. This isn't water, I'm telling you. I know what water looks like, and it ain't black. All right? <laughs> well, excuse me for living. Yes. We're looking at, oh, well, we still happen to have a. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I told you guys, the script. <laughs> 30 seconds. Uh, 30 seconds. Well, you guys wanted two cups of coffee seconds. and a glass of water. Well, looking at my Gucci, it's about that time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think we're going to another restaurant. Well, you guys can go to the restaurant. There's a McDonald's down the street. So they got go on. Service. Get out. Go. Go. I don't care. Get your big rat Ronald hey, McDonald hat. <laughs> yeah, right? Thank you very much. <laughs> Here's a little song I wrote You might want to sing it note for note Don't worry it's not, not the, the whole cake, cake but, but the whole cake. cake. Now, I'm Derek, and I want to know one thing right off the bat. Exactly, Master Fuji, what is a whole cake? A whole cake is like a biscuit squared. A biscuit squared. Now, before you get into biscuit squared, exactly, before you get into biscuit, what is a whole cake? What is the cake of the whole? I don't, Come on I'm now, not, boy. <laughs> I'm not quite sure of the definition, but is there anything that you would like to say? Well, personally, I, I think that a whole cake it's a biscuit. Now, if any of y'all out there ever taste a biscuit, then you know what a whole cake is. True. And uh, there's different types of whole cakes. Now, one type of whole cake is a strawberry whole cake. You like to share anything with a strawberry whole cake? Anything you know about a strawberry whole cake? Strawberry, strawberry whole cake is like a super whole cake. Come on cake. now, boss, spit it out. It's a super whole cake. A Feel super it. whole cake? Yeah. All right, now, what is a chocolate, exactly, what is a chocolate whole cake? That's a super duper deluxe whole cake. Okay. Do you know any whole cakes? In your family or anything? Nah. Huh? Nah. You ever tasted nah. a whole cake? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. What does a whole cake taste like? A biscuit? Yeah, it tastes like a biscuit with butter on top. All right, now I'm sorry, boy. I don't a mean to jump. Shut up. All right. All right. All right. Now we're going to go to our audience. Anybody out there know what a whole cake or a biscuit is? How about you in a yellow shirt? You in a yellow shirt. Come to the microphone, boy. Hurry or is that up. your now, teeth? Come on. Is that your teeth or your shirt? Oh, it's your shirt. All right. <laughs> <laughs> come on now to the microphone. We don't got all day. Now, exactly. Come on, I gotta bend down because you a midget. All right, now listen. <laughs> now listen. What exactly what is a whole cake? Um, 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 Come no, on, get no, the nut no, out no, your no. mouth. <laughs> What's the matter? You small little cricket? <laughs> God, man. Whoa. All right, hey, now what is it? 
All right, well, that's the only time we hit, have today on Street Talk. And next week's topic will be, uh, have some trouble. what is, um, when you deep, dark, and delicious. And, uh, before we leave, we just... To be happy, don't worry, be happy now. remake of the hit television series starring Jack Nicholson as the Joker and Michael Keaton as the Batman. Personally, I think Batman was a great movie. Action-packed, a lot of violence, which I personally like. I don't care what you think. But still, it was a great movie. What do you have to say? No, no, no. As I already said. Because violence is it's not fit, as I said earlier in earlier segments. It's not fit for children. PG PG-13 movies should have less violence and more comic, and especially in a movie like this, it should be like a more comic book character, like those Superman movies. Have you ever read a Batman comic book? You see the violence? He, he doesn't shoot people, but yet he beats them up. And still, if the, if the movie's too violent, what's the parent doing taking the kid there, see? So I think it's perfectly good for kids. Well, the parent takes the children there because the movie is rated PG-13 and they would expect it fit for a mature audience. And this movie is, well, as well, far, far from this But you see, you said kids. Kids aren't 13 years old. They're five and seven. So if they actually thought it was a mature audience, they wouldn't take their kids there. No one kids aren't mature. You see these kids walking around in the cafeteria. <laughs> well, that's just at our workplace. And all kids in general aren't like that. And I, and for my review, I give this movie two, I give this movie thumbs down. I, mean, I don't care what you say. The movie was great. It was kicking. And I give, oh man. I, you know, I don't know why you give it the thumbs down. It was great. You know, did you see the scenery? I, I admit some parts were kind of hokey, but everything was fantastic, man. But I give it the great. Oh! All right, we'd like to thank all the people that paid for our tickets to see this movie. Business in don't play. No, it is. Oh, yeah, From 19 when? Get on the road, my brother. The train is coming. Get on the road, my sister. Train to Zion is coming. You want to win? Sky Jones. I don't want to say what I was going to say. I pray to say something. Outside you is such my favorite. Oh, I love it, man. Be Tomato. Hang on. Is coming. You want to rent to me, see. Come on, I'll be there. Come on, you ain't sent me to me. Tiny wine, you princess. Be Tomato, yeah. Straight from your hand. It's going to Zion. We 
in white Here comes the bride oh, Come on now, get on with it Come on now <laughs> Alright, shut up everybody Alright, now we gotta make this quick I, got, I just gotta get my toenails done So, uh, where are we? Um, dearly beloved Right, right We are gathered here today to join This man and this woman In holy matrimony To hold, to hold forever, ever, and ever until death do them part or they get a divorce. Gentlemen, comes first. Now, before these two people are joined together, is there anyone with any objections? I do. He's a dirty, smelly skeezer because he slept with my mother last night and that wasn't right. Why don't you sit down and shut up? Don't nobody care you slept with your mother. I do. It is, it is wrong to sleep with a woman before getting married. Why are you going to disturb the wedding? See, they were really in love, at least I think. But see, why are you going to disturb the wedding? Because it was necessary. You know no, what, you, wasn't. you need a man. <laughs> shut up. I asked to <laughs> shut up. Why don't you shut up and sit down? Get out. Ain't nobody invite you anyway. No, nobody invited you, you bum. Hey, I was invited. Sure. Can I hurry up because my toenail itch? <laughs> Well, anyway, I guess if y'all get married, this will be a happy family, I guess. So, uh, are y'all gonna get married or not? See what you did? Floozy. 
Well, anyway, tune in next week for the second half. working on drugs, how, what they can do, and how they ruin our lives. Our host this evening is Doreen Oliver. Hello, Doreen. Hello. Doreen, could you please briefly and dis concisely tell us your story? OK. Well, I started taking drugs when I was five. I was in high school, and a I was in <laughs> school, and a friend of mine had to <laughs> She told me it could help me feel better. I was so stupid. But see, I was really upset because I lost the part in the school play to mm -hmm. Naima. And it really hurt me because she was my best friend. Oh, I see. And I started taking the drugs more and more. And I took them for more than three years. Knowing my career and my education was shot, I became addicted. I see. Um, Doreen, which drugs did you use? Well, I started on uppers, and then I got into cocaine, and then I got into heavy drugs, and like Novocaine and Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> <laughs> Doreen, this is not a laughing matter. Why are you laughing? <laughs> I'm just so upset. And then <laughs> I was out in the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Doreen, <laughs> Doreen, Doreen, you cannot laugh away your problems. Doreen, um, then, but no, the worst thing that happened to me for the result. <laughs> Doreen, um, when we were doing an interview with you before you came on the show, because um, you were told we you got pregnant. I and got pregnant. Oh, and Doreen, really what bad. happened with your child? Well, I lost it. I had a miscarriage. Oh, I see. Doreen, we, so I see you, you're having problems today, Doreen. Um, we would like to thank you for being on our show. We want to have some questions from our audience. We realize that you have come from a far away, you know, with yes. the cocaine and the Pepto-Bismol mm -hmm. and all. The, the and we would like to ask questions, but unfortunately, we don't have time for that this evening. We would like to thank you for being on our show. Next week, we will have De La Soul, and we would like for you to tune in next thank Saturday you very at much. 6 o'clock. Thank you for having me. Excuse me, miss, how are you doing? Well, uh, I'm fine. So, uh, are you waiting for a bus or something? Well, hi, William Sanders, but you can call me Bill. Would you mind if I called you stupid? <laughs> <laughs> no, that was kind of, what, that was funny, man. That was, that was funny. That, that was pretty, no, look, come on, what's your name? Well, uh, what do you, what do you say when we, uh, maybe we can go catch a movie or something? Come on, I'll, I'll wine you and I'll dine you. I'll even buy you dessert. So it's a date, right? Thanks. Maybe we'll go back to my place and, uh... Oh! Seconds ago. Oh, okay. You're gonna leave? Yeah, yeah okay. Let's go by my house and like have a little game of for cheesy. Sure. Okay, let's go. Come on.
honey. <laughs> Have a good night's sleep. Oh, honey, please, not now. Please, not now. Why not? It's my morning breath. Let me escape off into the bathroom. <laughs> Stop. Does this situation sound familiar? Do you ever have morning breath? Well, now this is new products called Escape. Yes, that's right, Escape. Just use it twice a, daily, twice a day, and then you'll escape from that morning breath. Here, try some. Oh. We'll now return to our regularly scheduled commercial. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Just one? Oh, well. Use Escape to escape from those early morning blues. Escape made a difference in our lives. So, honey, what are we going to do today? Well, I made breakfast. Let's go into the kitchen. OK. Does the audience have any questions about this new product, Escape? Commentator, please take the microphone. Yes. Is your left toenail longer than the right one? <laughs> <laughs> Will you please answer that? Uh, no, it's the other way around, vice versa, sir. OK. Well, that's our new product, Escape. If anyone wants to be proof, then come and smell his breath. It smells fresh like the morning sun. So, thank you for watching our new commercial. Any questions? No. So, thank you. You kids get to bed, I get the story room. I want my money. Where's my money? I don't have your money right now. I want my money today. You gotta give me some more time, man. I Come want on. My money now. Come on, man. I need a my couple money. more hours. Come on, man. Yeah. Come on, I want man. My money now. Look, man, I don't have that much on me. Come on, this is all I got, man. <laughs> this this is all you got? So, come on, man. Two weeks. This is all you got. Come on, man. You gotta give me some more time. Business money. ain't been too more good, money. man. Just get away from me. Don't ever come near me again. Yo, who, who you think you is? You ain't nothing, man. I made you. Wrong. Uh, 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 you think you... Uh, I already did. These are the effects of drugs. Our show today is about what happens when you get involved with drugs. The crime, the killing, and the destruction. No matter what anyone tells you about how drugs can make you have money and power, you won't. You'll just end up in prison or you'll die. My friend here, he made the wrong choices. He got involved with drugs. And you know where he lies today. Pay attention to our show and wake up, please. Thank you. Tucked in? Here we go. Once upon a time, not long ago, when people wore pajamas and lived life slow, when laws were stern and justice stood. Robert Mays, and we're here today on Let's Check. We're here to talk about the subject, who's superior in the home, the man or the woman? We're here today with my guests, Jamal Miller and Jason Gray. So, Jamal, what do you think about who's superior in the home? Well, I feel that, beyond a doubt, man is obviously more superior to sexes. I mean, he is physically stronger than a woman. Egan, it's, it's, it's clearly seen as a woman is just, she's just skinny and also mentally smarter than a woman. Okay, we'll get back to you. Please, please. All right. I, I, I tend to disagree completely because the man is not stronger than the woman. Maybe in size and in, and in, and in, and in build, but I mean, a lot of men aren't always like that, but the women are the one who's stronger. They're more endurance. It's a proven scientific fact. It's a scientific fact. What, what do you want? You with the hand in the striped shirt. I mean... 
You in the black. Yeah, mm. Yes, sir. Uh, if you the, skinny, ever the skinny lady over there who thinks she's think superior. about crawling yes. women puny again, I will beat you behind up and down these aisles. Do you hear me? Why, why, why don't you just face the fact? I am much stronger than you. My body, build, and everything else. Face the fact. So you just better move on. It's men power in the 80s. Oh, and that's why I'm in the executive building. I'm